Hello everyone, Bruce here with a video on while loops. So let's uh, throw up a new uh, Python window here. And I think you all remember uh, uh, for loops, right? For loops for i in range of 5, right? Um, print uh, do something, right? So what I'm trying to show you here is that uh, that I forgot a quote. Okay, what I want to show you here, right, is that this loop does something five times, right? And let me just call it, let me save it. Let's wait for the computer and I'll just call it while. Okay, while. And I'm going to run it. Run. And look, it did something five times, right? To illustrate that to you, I'll just say do something. And before do something, I'll just print out the value of i so you can see it, right, iterating. And there it is, right? It did it five times. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is five times. Again, this is an example of a counted loop, OK? So what does a while loop do, right? What does a while loop do? OK, I'm going to comment this out because we are going to create a new function here called define uh, while demo. And what while demo is going to do is it's going to keep asking the user if they want to do something, right? So what happens is you first have to set a condition, OK? And what I mean by a condition is not an if statement, but some expression that's going to be evaluated. And it's going to check to ensure that it is true. So for now, let's just say that condition equals, uh, let's see, 0, OK? Condition equals 0, just a variable equals the value of 0. So now I'm going to have a loop that says while condition, right, is greater than 0, right, uh, print out uh, I'm in a while loop, OK? I'm in a while loop. And then after each execution of the loop, we are going to eval input, and we are going to ask for, uh, ask for uh, value of condition, okay? Ask for value of condition. So what's going to happen here, okay? If condition, right, is zero, right? Condition greater than zero. So let me just make this whoa. Condition greater than or equal to zero. There we go. Sorry about that. As long as the value of condition is greater than or zero, it's going to execute the loop over and over again. It's when this condition becomes false, right, when condition's a negative number, that it's not going to loop anymore. So let me illustrate this to you. Ready? So I'm going to run this. OK. Ask. So it did the loop. It's in the loop. I'm in a while loop. Ask for the value of the condition. And let me just put these side by side here so you can see them a little better. And I'll enter 5. 5 is greater than 0. 10, greater than 0. We're still looping. And it's just going to keep looping until I enter right a negative number. So ready? I'll enter negative 1. Ready? Done. The program is done. So the way that you read this and write this is you first establish the, the while loop and say, what's the condition that you want to loop? OK? And here I said, keep looping while the value of the variable condition is greater than or equal to 0. And then do what you need to do, and then ask again in the loop for the new value of condition. OK? Now, this happens to be uh, a loop that's asking for user input, right? In the other video that I supplied, I was reading lines from a file. And while we had data in the file, we kept reading and printing out the data while we had data, right, until we ran out, OK? So study this. Let me just put some, uh, 
that's a counted loop and let's just put in here while loop and then we'll put in here set initial uh, value uh, to zero now do you know why I set this to zero initially because it gets this loop going right it it satisfies the condition uh, of condition the variable greater than or equal to zero okay so we keep looping here let's see I'll put the comment in here keep looping while condition is greater than zero and then uh, do what you need to do okay just in code whatever you're gonna do in a while loop okay and then uh, ask for a uh, new value okay and then again it's gonna come right back up to the loop and say hey is condition greater than or equal to zero if it is then do this stuff if it's not it's done with the loop okay I hope this example of the while loop uh, helped I'll have some more uh, momentarily